One of the problems that uh, people find with LEDs and dimmers is that they're not always compatible. And of course the manufacturers want you to buy one of their expensive compatible dimmers, but you don't need to do that. There's a simple modification that can be made to solve this annoying problem. The annoying problem I'm talking about is light set will not completely go out. This is a dilemma that I've had for a while. I'm going to show you a real quick fix that you can do to fix this problem. This is a late model Lutron electronic dimmer. It's actually one that can be remotely controlled. It has a little infrared remote and it can be controlled from my Harmony remote control. And basically it doesn't work properly. It's designed for incandescent lights and it will not work properly with compact fluorescence or with LEDs. Now this is because of the design of this unit. This is an electronic dimmer. It requires power for in order for the circuitry to operate. To get an understanding how that is, let's take a look at this uh, little schematic that I drew up. So the reason this happens is actually quite simple. In your conventional incandescent only light dimmer, you've got your line voltage coming in and you've got your output wire, your load, which goes to your resistive load, in this case an incandescent bulb. And of course you've got your safety ground, but the safety ground itself is actually not connected internally to the circuitry. The neutral line is connected through the light bulb, the resistive source, and it provides your return voltage or your return for the circuitry in the light dimmer. So basically, there is a small amount of power flowing through the dimmer itself, going through the light bulb even when the lamp is off, which is what is powering up that electronic circuitry. With an LED or a compact fluorescent lamp, you don't have that load because in an LED or CFL, your AC voltage is rectified by a full wave bridge rectifier, which will then charge up a capacitor, which operates that power supply. That small amount of current that is being drawn through the lamp to operate the dimmer circuitry is actually being rectified by the rectifier in the light bulb and charging up the capacitor and causing the power supply to start to operate. And this will result in flickering or dim lights it just won't go out completely even when they're turned off by comparison a led or cfl rated electronic dimmer in addition to having the line input and the load output as a conventional dimmer has has a third wire it has a neutral connection the neutral connection is used to provide power at all times to the dimmer circuitry Therefore, it doesn't need to draw its operating current or operating voltage across the actual load. And it can completely turn off the load line uh, completely when it's off. That way your lights don't pulsate or stay running. So here's a simple way to trick a conventional, I'll call it a classic electronic dimmer into operating like a more expensive LED certified dimmer because there's no reason to go out and replace your dimmers and buy a new $50 dimmer just so that your lights work properly. You can do it really easy. Here's how to do it. We start out by removing the retrofit fixture and unscrewing the adapter that connects the light to the existing conventional type A screw in light. Now that we've got the light removed and I've got it on the workbench, I'm going to add a simple four or seven watt incandescent bulb to the adapter cord. So I just get a couple pieces of wire. We're gonna strip some wire here and I'm going to basically solder the wires down. Now, if you have a, like a, a, a small light socket, like from an old Christmas uh, light string, you could use that or even a night light socket. I don't have one. And the very fact that these incandescent bulbs are rated at I think they're 10,000 hours they're ridiculously long for night lights they last forever I'm not too worried about when the bulb burns out having to take the fixture apart and replace the bulb this way so I'm going to permanently solder the wires right onto the base itself just because I don't have a socket and I'm cheap I don't feel like going out and buying one but if you want to have one that you can just screw in by all means go get yourself a little mini socket uh, this is just a conventional, I think this is a 7 watt, uh, just a conventional incandescent bulb that you would use for like an old nightlight. 
Yes, it's going to increase the power consumption of your lights by seven watts, but whoop de doo seven watts is nothing. Uh, in this room, there was used to be four 65 watt lights. They've been replaced with four nine watt LEDs. Adding an extra seven watts on there is not gonna kill me and it's gonna at least allow the lights to go out completely rather than glowing all the time, which hasn't been a problem, but I want it to look right. So I'm just gonna solder these wires down to the light and then we're just going to splice it in to the existing wires. Now I know I'm gonna probably draw the thumbs down police on this one because I'm gonna wrap this in electrical tape rather than put heat shrink tubing around it, but I don't have any that is large enough for this, so um, too bad. But yeah, if you've got heat shrink tubing, uh, it wouldn't hurt to use that. Or if you've got a socket, you can put it in. You could do that too. Again, this mod is only gonna really work for these retrofit uh, fixtures where you've got the, the, the can above this to put the bulb in. Obviously, if it's a conventional fixture, this isn't gonna work. But if you've got the space, which I do in these retrofit fixtures to mount this, then this is a real simple, easy way to make these lights work. Now, some bulbs, you won't need to do this. Some of them actually have the load built right in so that they'll work with any type of dimmer, but most of the ones I've tried don't work correctly and need a load in other words in, in order for them to not glow in the background all the time when the when the uh, dimmer is turned off so i'm just going to strip the wires down here a bit and we'll connect them up using moret connectors that way when the bulb burns out it's easy just to undo the wires and replace it with a new one So I'll now replace the adapter into the light socket in the standard 5 inch uh, recessed buckets. As you can see the bulb is just going to hang in the, the, the bucket here. It's glowing a bit because the dimmer is not turned off completely right now. But that will go out completely so let's just uh, let's just power cycle the dimmer up and down and that light will go out completely so there it is it's out completely now i'll just grab the led we'll plug that into the uh, the socket there the connector and you'll see that it is no longer glowing as it was before
And in case you're wondering, yes, I could do the same thing with a resistor, a nice big, like a five or 10 watt wire wound resistor in a couple hundred ohm uh, rating would do exactly the same thing. But you know what? The light bulb's dirt cheap and it's gonna produce a lot less heat than a resistor. Resistor's gonna draw its full current all the time and it's gonna get warm. Whereas a light, a little incandescent bulb, you've got the insulating factor of the vacuum that will only make the glass barely warm. So not an issue. And the fact that these things last so long, these night light bulbs, and they're dirt cheap. This was the easiest, most convenient, cheapest way to do it. Now, if you guys remember from the last video where I compared the incandescent to the LEDs, the one I was looking for at the store was this one, and they didn't have any. Well, they had them, they just, somebody effed up at Lowe's and uh, they didn't have them on display. And uh, I had to, uh, I had to speak to several people to get them to actually go and look for them. I found the perfect LED replacement for these conventional bulbs. Let's take a look. So here's the conventional incandescent. So there is, this is a conventional incandescent bulb. Gives off 245 lumens. This is the replacement LED. Look at the filaments on this, the LED filaments. They are beautiful. To give you an idea how good this looks. It gives off the same light as the 60 watt incandescent. Draws 6.5 watts. The color temperature is almost identical. And it looks beautiful. fully dimmable. I've replaced the incandescents in my hall in the light fixtures I put up. I've replaced them with three of these. They give off a really nice light and it's free from the shadows that the other LED that I was showing off in the other video, it gave off a lot of harsh shadows. This one because of the way that the, the LEDs are actually bent around the top you don't get that same shadow effect that I was getting out of the other ones. It's really nice, even light. And for the vintage looking LED, this one is the best one that I've found to date. And I'm keeping this one. I'm keeping these. These incandescent bulbs are gonna go out on my patio because while well, they're not running very often, they might run in the summer months, they might run a couple of hours, you know, here and there, but uh, they're not gonna run for hours and hours and hours on end, like the ones inside, which light up the corridor and the entrance to my house. When you walk in the front door, these are running all night. So uh, I wanted to go from 60 watt bulbs down to six and a half. Uh, I hadn't found any uh, LEDs and I tried a bunch of them the one the round bulb that I showed the one that actually broke when I was holding it Just fell apart that one would have looked nice had it fit inside my fixture and it actually draws about the same amount of power And they basically just twisted the filaments differently It's the same bulb as this and it would have really looked nice had it fit But it didn't but these ones fit these ones look super just wanted to show you guys that one We'll catch you in the next one real soon